everybody and uh, welcome to my next game development video uh, so in this video I will be showing you uh, uh, the map that I've been working on so in the past few game development videos I've been going over menus character creation all that stuff but in this I kind of took some code from my old code and, and re redid some of it and uh, added in some maps so I had the collision code done I just never I did something that I want to change to it so I never implemented it in this video so anyways uh, nothing special I just have layers for the map so I have uh, the first layer is, uh, layer is the grass and these rocks over here second layer is this path and the third layer, layer is the house and uh, as since there's no collision, I can walk inside the house. But if you look right here, the house uh, goes on top of the player. So I have this as an overlay on the player so that when the player walks behind the house, it actually looks like he's walking behind the house. If I don't have this overlay here, then I'm going to have to add collision and the player won't be able to walk past um, this portion. But to make it seem more realistic, I put it that this area is an overlay of it so it looks like the player is indeed that behind the house as it really is. Okay, uh, so before I even continue, uh, the map tiles aren't mine or anything so I have to give credit where credit is due. Uh, so I've got these all from Deviant Arts, and the first one's from Siraz, Siraz Ria, uh, and this, uh, another tile sheet's from That So Witty, and another one is from Sean Dash Frost, and they're all from um, Deviant Art. Now I'll post these links in the uh, in the description below. Uh, these guys are really good. They're really talented with their art, so check them out. If you ever need artwork for your game, then then don't be afraid to check them out. Uh, so, uh, that's it for that tile sheet. So, to explain how everything is done, uh, I have my map in a, in a tile sheet. Uh, so, my tile sheet's right here. So, each tile is 32 by 32 pixels, okay? Uh, so, uh, what, how I did my map, if, I, if you look here, is that I let us know what tile number we are drawing so this represents the X coordinate this represents the Y coordinate so uh, this says um, get the tile one zero okay so that will be this tile right here so we take that tile and we draw it right we draw it to the screen so that's how everything goes so now how did I add the overlay and the underlay and such like that well, if we go here, my collision code is going to consist of three different things. It's going to consist of P for passive, O, which is going to represent overlay, and X for solid or anything that can't be passed through. So, when I, right here, when I have my collision type, right, I set the uh, coordinate on the tile map or the tile on the tile map, and I set what I want it to be. So by default, every single tile on a tile map is considered passive, so you can pass through it, right? Uh, uh, so I set this that uh, tile two zero uh, and tile three zero and tile four zero are all are have overlay value. Now I don't know if I. I can do two things with the collision as well. I can say that each tile has a collision barrier on it, so I could set that some tiles are solid and some tiles are not. Or I can easily just take this collision code from here and just set collision here as well. So I think the collision area will be uh, uh, will be easier to work with rather than having to individually set which tiles are solid or not. But I will decide that later. Uh, but that's how I do it. So if you go to my gameplay screen, in my map uh, draw, I, s I have my sprite batch and I set whichever one we're going to draw. So for this, I said that we're drawing the underlay, then we draw the player, then anything that if we have any overlay tiles, then we will draw the overlay after. And so uh, so then after that, we get our results. Uh, we get this as a result. So nothing special. 
uh, yet, but I am working towards it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thanks for watching and bye.